All right, guys, what's up? I'm uh, Kevin Crawford. Y'all sure how to know that watching the channel. Uh, we changed the channel name over to uh, Trucker's Experience. We're trying to still work on getting the other people to um, help out with the blogging. Um, as soon as they get a little bit more time, and as soon as I get some time to sit down, which I'm actually going to do a little bit of tonight, uh, we're going to try to get some of their videos up. So within like a week or two, we should have some more uh, people putting information up. Uh, so that's just a back brief y'all on that little mess. Uh, just to give you guys the uh, rundown of what I've been doing since the last time we talked. Um, I ran Ontario to Lithonia, well actually Ontario to Lancaster, Texas, to Lithonia, Georgia, and then back to Ontario. Uh, we did all of that within about five days I believe it was. I think we left on like a I don't remember. I think we left on like a Saturday or something. Might have been Friday. And then uh, we got back to Ontario just yesterday. Wait. No. Two days ago. I don't remember. It was a little bit ago. <laughs> but uh, anyways, beside the point. Um, some more things I'm noticing on the road. Uh, a long ago with the people not giving other people space and stuff like that. Um, if you pay attention to the last video, I got talking about that on-guard system. Uh, people understand that okay yeah we do have that system it helps out with in front of our vehicle and to our right side but the other problem is it doesn't tell us what's next to our trailer if you get in our blind spot right next to the trailer you're not going to be able to see or the trucker us we're not going to be able to see what's going on over there and we kind of have to slow down and speed up and do all this stuff so if you can try to stay you know if you're going to pass a truck try to pass them you know at a fairly reasonable rate uh, not too fast, not too slow, obviously. Um, and the other thing is try to stay out a little bit from the truck so that way we can actually see you in the mirrors. Uh, nine times out of ten for us to see you, we're going to be using our convex mirrors on the sides, on the left and right sides. Uh, driver side is really easy to see because we can look right down the side of the truck. Passenger side, we have like four or five blind spots down the side of the truck, so it's a little bit harder. Um, trying to think of some other things. Construction, 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 construction. No matter where you go, what town, city, state, fucking county, whatever, whatever you want to call it, you're always going to run into construction. Don't get mad when we slow down. We slow down because it's safe. For us, construction sites are a big deal because those lanes may go from 13, 14 feet wide down to approximately 10 feet wide. And, or, We'll call it 12 feet because that's I think what most of the standard is. That you guys could correct me if I'm wrong, um, but they get narrow, and a lot of the times you get with uneven road surfaces, people are paving. Um, you get a road like this, and then another section like this right next to it. It's not safe for us to, you know, haul ass down through those roads. We kind of have to take a little bit more caution. So don't get mad when we're going slower down through there. Um, I had somebody flip me off the other day because I was doing 45 and the speed limit through there was 55, but I was worried about dropping my trailer off the side of the road because there just wasn't enough room. They'd push the cones all the way into the lane and we were riding right on the edge of the road. So just, you know, be cognizant of the fact that we're trying to take our time. We're trying not to flip our truck, but we're trying not to cause an accident, which could cause, you know, more problems for you guys in the long run. Plus, we're trying to get, you know, our supplies to where they need to go. So, um... I think of other things right now I'm pretty much at a blank I've kind of been in off mode for the past day or two uh, as soon as I can get these other people up to um, doing the vlogs then we'll start getting them I said uh, Dana Tate is gonna be one of them she's gonna give you a female's perspective on driving a truck and what it's like to be in a truck with another person uh, Garrett Masters will be another one you probably won't see him until I get my lease truck or company truck, whatever my route is going to be as soon as I get out of the training program. Uh, that's also why you don't see many videos of me right now because when I'm in the training program, I'm trying to spend as much time as I can picking up on small things. And that way I can kind of describe to you guys, you know, it makes it a lot easier. So uh, I think that's about it. But uh, to stay safe on the road, guys. Um, if you're gonna, if you're going through the school, you want to go through the school, FFE, great school, great people. Just look them up. 
Uh, same with KLM. Stick with it. It's great money. Once you get out of the academy, it might not look good, you know, when you start. But hey, you gotta start somewhere. Once you get on your truck, you can make those, you know, that thousand, two thousand dollars, whatever it may be. Uh, just remember to push the miles. Wheels aren't turning. You're not making money. So I'll uh, leave it with that, and I'll catch you guys probably the next couple of days, possibly tomorrow, depending on if I get the site up. So all right, later, guys.